guys, welcome to today's video. Today is day 23 on the chicken front. So usually chickens hatch on day 21. Sometimes you have a straggler or two. We have four chickens left, I think. And I don't think they're gonna hatch. I think they're duds. I am being attacked by dogs currently, two of them, who think that they're, my whole life is meant to just sit on this couch and scratch them. Just before we go down to do chores, I wanted to ask Gabby to look in our little chicken brooder and pick out the last egg. One egg, the last egg that was hatching, hatched this morning or hatched in the night sometime. And we saw it come out, we found it this morning. So we're gonna get Gabby to look in there and she has three seconds, no, five seconds, I'm gonna count to five. See if she can pick out the last baby chick. We got a bigger brooder. Ooh. It's not much bigger, or it looks smaller. This one is black and white. Or it looks smaller because we have so many chickens now, you guys. We hatched nine baby chicks on our own. These are all nine. The color always looks bad because you I have that crazy light. Tell. So there's one new baby chick in there, brand new. You guys guess too. Yeah, you guys guess too. Let's see if we can get a good picture. You guys see it? One brand new one. All the tiniest ones are our new hatchling. Bella's looking for a place that to That one over out. there in the water bucket. That's a new hatchling. We hatched her. Bella's like all attention on me, guys. She's having a drink. This is Bella. Oh my She's God. our OG chick and she, she just wants to sit on your lap. She just wants to be with us. When we open this lid, she stares up constantly and yeah. tries to jump out to be with us. Like, she's just so friendly already. <laughs> she is a coachin, purebred coachin chick. This is how Standard you tell she wants chick. out. So she's gonna be big. Listen, listen you. I do not want you right now. Watch, I have a turn. Please, please, go away. <laughs> Wow! And she your <laughs> that worked so good! Ruby, go! <laughs> okay, Gabby, come! Okay, look, this is Bella. Can you tell which one is Bella? She only looks up and tries to get out. She just stares at us when we open the lid. Tries to come out. <laughs> pick me up! Quick, pick me up! <laughs> and she has actually jumped almost out. <laughs> And Scarlet, that one has jumped out. Chickens are exhausting. Look at the one over there drinking. They're just so darn cute. Bella's just like, let me out. Let me so out. the new chicken is absolutely my favorite. And we're going to show you guys. I don't even think you guys can see their color very well because of that light. So hold on. We'll take them out. So we're going to give you the count of five to pick up Mom, you can see the back. newest chicken. Oh my gosh. Came back. All right. Okay. Take the light away and we'll, for a second. Okay. On. Gabby's on one. Two, three, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Isn't it cute? Here, bring it up here so I can show them. It's literally the cutest chicken. So it's a small chicken. It's called a Polish chicken. It's a Bantam breed. It's like super tiny. It's as tiny as a silky, but it's a, it's a Polish and they have these big, huge yeah. things on their head. These puffs on their head. It hatched from the tiniest egg. It looks like a chipmunk. Go, Ruby. I know you want to eat them. Can I just point out? It looks like a chipmunk, and it is just the cutest little chicken that you ever saw. Oh, <laughs> I love those. That's a cochin. It's pickles. Pickles. So we have two favorite chickens. That's pickles. Um, it's a cochin. Can I just Chill. point out how this one disappeared out of nowhere? <laughs> yeah, we don't know when this one hatched. Like, it's it's such a pretty no. color. Oh, I thought those but look at the size out. difference between them. Uh, it's hard to tell in cameras, but one is like so little, and they're a day apart though. This it's, one Toby because he looks ratchet. This one is yeah, so Toby. cute. You look ratchet. So I'll put I'll put a picture here of a. This one's also one of my favorites. Of a Polish chicken, so you guys can see what this is gonna look like. Cause Sophie likes how dark the black is on them. Yeah, so you're really cute too. This one's so small. Like, look it. He fits on my fingertips. <laughs> if I do. stretch out my whole hand, look how small he is. Like, I have fingers on that yeah, side, man. hand on this side. <laughs> That's how small he is. Hold that chicken in your hand so people can see how big that chicken is. This is Bella. 
So you see that chicken? She doesn't stand in my hands. I mean, it's a whole week bigger, but it takes. Hi, that's Bella. That's what she does. She stares into your eyes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, put Teddy back. I call him Teddy. I think he's a rooster. His name's Theodore, though. So, Theo and Teddy. This is Jasper. This is Jasper. <laughs> he's just so Look little. Jasper. Yeah, Sophie likes this one because it has a dark face. So, some chickens you can tell the breed by the color of the face. And that might be one of them because it's the red sex links by the color. You can tell the... I'm going to read up on that, actually. But some chickens you can tell the color by the color... If it's a male or a female, and I think that one's a male, and because it could be a red sex link, but we don't have any red sex links. We have black sex links. Sex links. Gotta be over here doing operations on the little hens, laying it upside down. <laughs> this is the one that got its leg caught. Yeah. So out of all of our chickens that hatched, there were nine. We had 16 eggs. A few of them weren't viable right from the start, and then five, four, four didn't hatch. I feel like I'm not carrying anything. I know, they're so light. They're so cute. This one, when I pick it up, it starts falling asleep. Yeah, the so these sure. are all, these are all the babies that we hatched, and again, look yeah. at the size. Yeah. Stretch your, stretch your whole hand out. He just lays there. So Sophie's, all her fingers are there. The back of her hand is all there. He just literally covers the little tiny spot in the middle. But it looks so cute. Yeah, he's going to be really cute. Check and see if you can tell which chicken is Bella. Just look at all those chickens. Just don't, um, just, just put my hand down. Nobody pays any attention to us except for Bella. She's always right there. Right, always baby. wants out. Elevator, lift me up, please. She looked at the fall. Imagine if you could tell, like, all the roosters chased the hand, and then all the hens stayed behind, because that is actually one way you can tell. The babies are jumping. Even the babies are jumping. Well, that's Toby. That's Bella. <laughs> right there. Right in the middle of it. The one that's pushing everyone to get through. What if Bella is a Ben? No. Bella is a Even the little babies are jumping. I think those are all the roosters. Bella is planning her escape. Okay, so this is super cool. I know you guys are getting to see too much chicken footage, and you're probably not that interested in it. After all, this is a horse channel. But, so these black chickens are black sex lynx chickens, and you can tell the boys because they say they have a white spot on the back of their head, and the girls don't. Isn't that so crazy? And then this is one of the ones that would be a girl. So we would have two girls and one boy. Isn't that so funny? Hi, Penny Pickle. Peeing. She's peeing. Why do you have hay all across your... What is the matter with you this morning? That was a grouchy day. Grouchy day on the day-by-day -day farm. I'm putting fins, broil, finny fin. There it is. See, this is so much this is Finn's expensive one, his new one. All right, let's put those together. I almost na need to mark these with names, but this is Finn's show bridle right here. See, it's got that nice big okay, flap. It was. Yeah, that's an expensive one. Let's put it nice. There we go. There we go. Finn. Finn's bridle. I don't know. All the other junk. With all the, that's not all junk, but we do need to go through this. Well, like, this doesn't fit well. This is too big for Gracie. It is time for the tack cleanup. My grandkids will be here this weekend, and it'll be Easter we weekend, so we'll have like a lot of people. Ruby J. There will be a lot of people here, and Sophie and I kind of want to like have our obstacle course set up. So we can Ollie. do fun things with the grandkids. I think that would make it like way more fun for them. Love that we're like the fun grandparents. No, nothing is behind you, Sophie. You're safe. So when our grandkids come, we're gonna have baby chicks and we're gonna have an egg hunt and we're gonna have Easter surprises and we're gonna have horses and hopefully we'll have an obstacle course. Maybe we can do it all on Saturday. You're fine, you're safe. 
She's practicing walking backwards. Wahoo! <laughs> You're cheating. You're yeah, that is cheating. Well, cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Chicken, chicken, Gabby sucks. Chicken, chicken, Gabby sucks. Chicken, chicken, Gabby's a chicken. So I saw Sam throwing hay for breakfast out the window the other day, and I was like, yeah, he's the problem. <laughs> He's definitely the problem. He throws so much hay. And I'm like, Sam, why did you throw so much hay? And he's like, oh, they like it like that. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. I hate that when dogs are like so fast and they're right on top of it that you're always like about to hit them because you can't throw fast enough or far enough. There we go. I guess that's the trick, throw it up. And then they can't get underneath it. No. Come here. Sit. Wait. Stay. Boom. Or you could do that. Where's my dog? Where is your dog? Oh my goodness. Right there. Oh, right here. She's here. Oh, she didn't get to come with me to throw the hay. She's the escape artist. Oh yeah, she's, she's the troublemaker. The weird thing about Ruby though is that she's fallen in love with me. And because she and she's scared of me. Alright, Gabby's calling me on here. Ruby has started to love me so much. If I leave the room, she leaves the room. If I'm sitting on the couch, she's sitting beside me. Alright. I literally get up and step on my dog, and then sometimes I step on Ruby. Alright, Sophie, hold Ruby and Gabby and I are gonna do a uh, test. Know that when Somebody challenges somebody on the day-by-day -day farm. We have to prove it. We have to prove it. Oh, the mini pooped down here. Had it all cleaned up yesterday and she pooped. Are we ready? Well, there's poop in my corner. I got okay, three. One, two, three. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Ruby. Come on. Come on, Ruby. <laughs> you didn't even call her. Do Ruby again, and Gabby, you have to call this time. Let's change spots. You go to the poop corner. All right. We change spots. Okay. Gabby, you have to actually scream, call her, okay? I know, Gabby can't scream in the morning. Okay. Three, two, one. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Ruby. <laughs> All right, let's do Daisy. Let's do Daisy. So Daisy will be easy because we don't even have to make noise. We just do this. This means come. Okay, three. Three. Get your hands out. Two. One. She's laying down. Come on. Let go. Come on. Like that dog doesn't even look at me. Not ever. <laughs> Sylvie wants to try opposite sides with Daisy. Sylvie's got the poopy section. All right. Come on, Molly! Come on, Molly! Come on! Come on, Molly! Come on, Molly! Molly! <laughs> she only stays with her owner! <laughs> Put those dogs in there! Put them in there! Put them in the barn and we'll do Daisy one last time. Molly! Come on, Molly! Come on, Molly! Molly! Come on, Molly! Molly! Come on, Molly! Come on, Molly! Come on, Molly! <laughs> you won. All right, so this is our last try with Daisy. We changed spots. We're gonna see. Get your hands ready. Make sure she sees both of us because, come on, come on. Okay, let her go. Doesn't even, doesn't even look. Come on. Doesn't even try for me, like at all. Clearly the girls love their dogs and their dogs love them and they've really done an amazing job bonding and training and Trying to get them to be the best darn puppies that they could ever be But yeah, it's funny like did you guys see we were calling Molly and Molly Total bonding. Molly is driven like she will go with anybody anytime, but she yeah Daisy doesn't <laughs> But she literally just wanted to stay. Oh my god, we haven't even let the horses out. What the heck are we doing? Let's go, girls. <laughs> Sophie just points and her dog goes where she wants her to. Stay here. Okay. All right. Here we go. The daily turnout. Oh, I forgot to brush her. What the heck? My horse is going outside dirty today.
You know what we should do? It should be Stacy and me. My dog can't tell the difference. Yeah. She's running because she can't see her faces. Yeah. And my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law is five foot one, barely, and Gabby. Well, she's a. Not much of a height difference between us. But she looks like Gabby. And Molly goes to I'm her. I'm taller than her. Molly goes to her, gives her the pylon, then looks up at her and is like. Actually, she's barely five and then feet. And she goes around to me. Who's standing beside her? So yeah, on Easter. On Easter, we should do some fun games with the grandkids. So I came out to check to see if the chickens are eating from our new feeder and. We have four chickens and four holes, and if I hang it, it covers one of the holes, which is annoying. But I think they have been using it because when I look in here, I can see that food is in this little section here, and it wasn't before. So hopefully they're using it. Yeah, cute girls. It's almost warm enough now to take all this plastic off their coop, but I am definitely going to keep this thing on. I love this thing for like rain and sun. Keep it cooler in here. Watch. No, no, no. So we're going to do an Easter egg hunt this weekend for Easter. And we're going to do it over here where none of the dogs really go and where none of the horses go. She wants to hide some eggs in like holes so that all the little baby grandchildren run along looking for eggs and they fall into a hole. Yeah, that's what excites Gabby at this time in her life. That moment that barrels become horses. Can you sit on it without falling? Yeah, that's easy to balance on. Even I could balance on a, on a barrel. Ugh. This weighs less than 200 pounds. I think it's fine. Okay, guys. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> Molly's like, I will catch it. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'll take a barrel. You take that sucker. Where? To the arena. Mom? Watch out, Molly. Mom, I packed it up. Oh my gosh, now it's tacked up, you guys. Now it is tacked up, she's got a saddle on it. That's a baby saddle. Cause that hurts. That's fun though. All right, we're taking all this stuff to the arena and get started on our extreme trail adventure. I know what we could do with this. What? We could have one and sit on it and then send our horses around oh. us. <laughs> Don't fall. All I see is the thing going over and Gabby going over with it. You're too short. Do you want me to take that? No. All right, let's do it. Well, I keep it. Come on, put this saddle back and off the horse. I mean the barrel. I know you don't have a horse right now and it's stressful. I was thinking if we make like a big brooder, we could use this big, huge thing for it. Sam, it works so much that sometimes I think it'd be easier to have him home. He could build us all the stuff we want. And then I found this, and this would be such a good roost for them. This is what innovation is. Sophie thinks smarter. Works smarter, not harder. <laughs> we should have a race.
had to deal with the Amazon driver. Sam's gonna have to drag the arena before we can set anything up. So, wow, it's hot today. Some of the world is getting snowstorms today. And I literally am so hot today I could put on a t-shirt and I have a winter coat and a long sleeve shirt on. Good job, Gabby. So I'm probably gonna bring my chairs and stuff and put them up out here again. It's really hot in this arena. It's hot, like this is the first day I think that I felt actually hot. Over here, Gabby, with the other tires.